Welcome back everyone. iOS 14.4.1 just came out today. I generally was not expecting it to come out and we are away from the window this time. But let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 8. Now iOS 14.4 has been a pretty solid update but 14.4.1 isn't really a crazy big upgrade by any means. It should, it was as you guys can see, I'll show you in like two seconds. It was 122 megabytes coming from the previous version of iOS which like I stated was iOS 14.4. And you can see it just says this update provides important security updates and the recommended for all users. There shouldn't be any crazy new features added, but again, if there are, you know, we'll update you guys when that time comes. But so far, it seems good. You know, it installed pretty quickly. Unfortunately, for some reason, my iPhone SE, which I have here, is still stuck on this display. So I don't know what's going on there. Now, I will do a quick little speed comparison between this and iOS 14.4 right now. So let's go ahead and see which one is the faster one. Now again, this is a quick one. I'll be doing a full one on my other channel, but let's go and hop out of all these apps. And I'm expecting 14.4.1, which is on the left to be faster, but I guess we'll see. Phone calls, uh, about the same, not a big difference. Music 321. I think 14.4 was a little bit faster there. We can go and load up the app stores, 321. And 14.4 does look to be quite faster than 14.4.1. Scrolling through, you guys can see about the same type of thing here, not a ginormous difference, but that was actually a pretty big difference between those two app stores. Cameras 321, about the same there too, not a ginormous difference. Hopping over to the other side, a few of these apps will do. Facebook 321, and you can see, I think 14.4 is faster there. Twitter 321, again 14.4, way faster. I'm actually pretty surprised how fast 14.4 is compared to 14.4.1. Fruit Ninja. And I'm not too sure, maybe 14.4 is a little bit faster, but they look kind of the same, to be honest. And 14.4 seemed to get into that panel just a little bit faster. Snake versus Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And 14.4.1 actually faster there, surprisingly. Finally, we're finally getting into a little bit of a faster speed. And gameplay-wise, they both kind of glitched up at the same time. Let's do one more quick little app. Let's go and do something like Snapchat, 3, 2, 1. And 14.4 seemed to be a little bit faster there. So that quick little comparison, I think 14.4 is actually faster than 14.4.1 for the time being. But again, 14.4.1 is going to get you the more stable experience overall. So ultimately, if there were more features and stuff added, then I, you know, this video will be longer. But essentially, should you go and install iOS 14.4.1 on your iPhone 8? Well, this is pretty much what I'll tell you. I think 14.4.1 so far is not a crazy big upgrade on your iPhone 8. I think you're going to get a pretty similar experience of what you're getting on 14.4. But I think the biggest upgrade and the biggest change that's happening is probably, you know, I'll be honest, when it comes down to the security, you're probably going to be getting a more secure device on iOS 14.4.1 than on 14.4. So if you want the most secure device, 14.4.1 is the way to go. However, on the flip side, what I'll tell you is, is that if you are, you know, wanting to keep a jailbreak on your device, if you're wanting to go and maintain a jailbreak or anything like that, being on the lowest possible version of iOS is probably the better way to go. And after seeing so much hype about the last jailbreak, it just shows me that there's still a huge community of jailbreak and people want, you know, tweaks and stuff installed on their device. So for 100% of a fact, I would tell you, if you want to jailbreak your device, even though the check green jailbreak is available, there's still, you know, non-computer jailbreaks out for some devices on lower versions of software. So because of that, I'll probably tell you, if you have an iPhone 8 on any version of iOS 14, staying on the lowest version is a better way to go for jailbreak's sake. So I'd probably stay on 14.4 for that case. On top of that, the speed seems to be a little bit slower, specifically on the iPhone 8 on 14.4.1 for the time being. So if you want the fastest phone ever, probably staying on a lower version of software may be better. I saw 14.4 seem to be pretty fast too, you know, in my opinion. But after that quick little speed comparison that I just did in this video, I saw that for the most part, iOS 14.4.1 is a little bit slower than on 14.4. But if you don't care about jailbreaking and if you don't care about a little bit of a speed improvement, going up to 14.4.1, I would highly recommend it. It's going to be more secure and you're probably going to get a better experience overall. So that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.